This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Delighted to be joined by our local hero Lewis. It's been too long, mate. It has been. It's been a while, hasn't it? So, because uh, I would now I chat off off camera now. We're a bit of a chat on camera, so. And that's what I was just about to say. What time do I get here? Yeah? Half, half, half ten. Yeah, even half ten. You got here before me, actually. To be fair, I left two minutes up the road. <laughs> and so, it's uh, quarter, quarter one now, mate. That tells you how long we've been chatting. Tells you how long we've been chatting. Long over the long over you. Good man. So just for the camera. Yes. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, you know, there's a uh, train's going really well, rates coming off well, so a few little niggles that we've had to get over, but it's the same as every camp, isn't it? Just got to uh, keep plodding on. A week on Friday, you're back at the arena. Before we talk about anything else, what will that mean to be back in there? No, it'll be nice, you know, it's uh, obviously I think it's one day going to be half capacity, which to be fair, I think it was a good idea, you know, like get a couple of, get a couple of fights in there half capacity and get a big one and open it up and the place will be rambling again, chop out, the place will be buzzing so uh, yeah it's nice to be back in Newcastle, nice to be back not over the water this time like the last one and uh, get a few Jodies in there. Good man, you're fighting a fellow who's got some pedigree aren't you? No, he is. Ex-world no. champion? Ah, you know, uh, What's his name again Lewis? For honestly to you. <laughs> I couldn't tell his name but I can punch. Uh, do you know what we were, we were just saying off camera there? You know, we don't do easy fights in this gym, you know, yeah. like, uh, every name we get off, I just, yes, tell us where I'm fighting, tell us what weight, and uh, to be fair, I don't even know if it's a 10 or a 12 rounder, that's how thinking bothered I am, I just said, right, I'll take him there, that's who I'm offering, and uh, just stay away from that big back, uh, backhand is. He's saying no easy fights, ex-world champion, he's been there with Mikey Garcia, he's, he's, he's got some pedigree, I, you know, like, I'm so... I say we'll probably have owners and uh, we'll give you a few easy fights the easy way in before big and I'm, I'm still waiting for these easy fights so but uh, no it is what it is and I suppose when you main event and the big shows that'll come up yeah, you, you've got to have the big fights or the, the rest of the lads won't get on. Good man. It is a big fight and you yeah. say there's no easy fights. Obviously the aim is to get through this Lewis. Signing with Probellum. What's the future? What, what's the guys at Probellum got in store for you over the next, say, 12 months? No, I, I, you know, so I had a few offers off a few people, but I like, I like Probellum's the best. You know, they've got a big plan for the North East to sign all the North East. Like, well, there's North East fighters that like do, they'll be signed, they're, they're getting signed, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a hotbed, and they couldn't be in a few years, and that's what they're just, the plan on uh, building up, you know, like, I'm 28 now, but I'm, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm still very fresh, but You've only got so many hard fights in you, you know, like three or four years more of hard fights and then that's probably me gonna be it's gonna be me done. So they've got a good plan where they're saying the, the big stars now, they're gonna build them up and probably when it's time for me to go, the hotbed's still gonna be there, so gonna have fighters in the North East to take over the mantle. So the worst I'm yeah, I just want the big, biggest fights as possible. I'll I'll jump forward a few questions now that you've said that Lewis. You are still the guy that's triggered this massive Renaissance in Northeast Boxing. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know that? No. Well, do you know, like obviously when we were just saying off camera, we last September, I think about eleven or twelve fights I had on Sky. Yeah. You know, like name another Northeast fighter that's done that period is none. Do you yeah. know what I mean? And the fighters that I've getting on Sky are off the back of me. Do you know what I mean? So even the problem was sure that they're coming up the main event, but I was, you know, they've signed me. I, I'm, I'm the one forefront of it all, and. Uh, it might annoy some North East fighters, but that's just, that's just life, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? You've got to get on with it and uh, they'll have their chance eventually to step it up and it's up to them to take it. You know, I, I, I've took my chance and I'm just going to keep taking them. But there's a generation of boxing fans out there, Lewis, who when they talk about North East boxing, your name will be top of the pile every single you know time. Do you know what it is? It, uh, from not being known as Savannah, she, she hits the nail on the head every time I say her get interviewed, she, she says it, doesn't she? She yeah. North East boxing wouldn't be where it is without Lewis. And, yeah. She's doing her part now. She's she's took her chance. She's world champion. She's got a, a big fight with Shields on on the horizon. So you know she's another one that's got her chance. Took it and now she's ripping the roads on boxer. She's main event in boxer shows in the North East now. So the rest of them need to do the same. You know, like there's no point me keep getting big fights and the the sort of hindering on whether I win or not. You know what I mean? Where I think it's time for the rest of them to take a bit of a step up and they're going to fight and then we'll see what they're made of. We've got a few good names on this show. You've got Troy, who was in a potential fight he's the year last he's time. He's the one that I missed out. Troy, he, he, he took his chance. Cheeseman, you know, like, uh, knocked Cheeseman out. He's got the British title now, and he's going to get a defense. But to be fair, he wants to keep that belt. It's the best belt in boxing. You know, I've got one in the, in the cupboard in the house, just in case. 
everyone forgot about that. So, it was on the mantelpiece anymore? No, it was on the mantelpiece. You know what it is? It was on the mantelpiece for like a week. And then I come in one day and it was just gone. I was thinking, where is it? It was back in the cupboard and all that stuff. It's not staying on there. <laughs> so that's back in the cupboard. Uh, but it's the best belt in boxing zone. And uh, there's no reason why Troy can't do that. You know, it was domestically apart from Lane Smith. And, and you know, I know you've got Fowler on that, but I think Fowler's more right now. He's probably domestically top of, the, top of the tree now, you know what I mean? So there's no reason why he can't uh, have the three defences, have the British title, and obviously got Savannah with the world title. Tommy's knocking on the door now. So there's like the four main fighters in the North East and we're all doing what we can to, to keep the big box up here. And that seems to be the the operation ahead, isn't it, for Prabellum? They really seem to be focused on an hour neck of the woods. Well, you know, they've got the Mark Dickinson, the two McCormacks there, the bees knees on there, you know, and we've just been speaking about them off camera. If, if they can fulfil their potential, there's now a chance of having three world titles in, in the North East, do you know what I mean? So, it's going to be, it's exciting times ahead in there, especially with them three coming through. Savannah obviously with our world title and the uh, Troy and Tommy that I've mentioned. We've got a good hotbed now, we're just going to make sure we take the chances and, and keep, that, keep, the, the, keep it going. You talk about three world titles there, Lewis. Does Lewis Richardson still have hopes for a world title? Yeah, oh, you know, so I've it's everyone, you know, like the same James' Park dream everyone goes on about, but the same with that as well. Same James' Park never even got mentioned until I started doing what I was doing, you know, like, and I think like a few of them were jumping on the bandwagon doing that. And same James' Park this, same James' Park that, but I only really see Jim, same James' Park happening if it was a world title shot for me at the minute, until we see the likes of the McCormacks and Dickinson's coming through. But it's still definitely a, a, an ambition to win a world title, but I think you need a bit of luck in this game, the right fights at the right time. And, there's a few domestic lads like at Hora and McKenna and stuff where I think you know like all of them lined up the whole fight each other really well with like MTK problem so we can get through the likes of them and get another big fight and there's no reason why we can't uh, fight for a world title. Good man, you mentioned a certain name there that's started to give you a bit of He's changed his tune because yeah. we asked him on Instagram ages ago and he said Lewis Ritten's not my level. Now he's apparently going to come up, see what you're all about. Yeah, Lewis Ritson versus O'Hara Davis, mate. No, it's, it's tasty, this, but um, that's not my job. That's Jeff and Sam Jones and Problemo. They'll, they'll sort all that out. And, uh, and that's who, who I'm fighting. If I get through this one, that's who I'm fighting. Great happy days. Uh, I fight him. You know, like, uh, he, he said I called him out, but I can't really remember calling him out. I think I got, it was a bit like an interview where would you fight O'Hara Davis and so on. Oh, I'll fight him. Do you like, like so McKenna, would you fight? I, I really like Tyrone, actually. Tyrone's a. Uh, a nice lad. Oh, wishing all the best this weekend. I hope he, hope he pulls an upset off. But they had never really called out. It's not my style, do you know what I mean? Yeah. He's coming with it all written, called him out and that. But uh, we'll see. I think it's in the pipeline and uh, I think it'll be an exciting fight for the fans. If O'Hara is true to form, Lewis, next Friday, he might have something to say to you in a ringside. Are you, <laughs> no, ready, um, are you ready for it? Backhand. No, I'm, listen, I come across nice on camera. Well, yeah, I'm a nice guy. I like the hope I'm a nice kid, but listen, I don't put up. I'm not going to start acting the whole man, I'm going to put up in these shit, I'm going to put up in the air. If he comes to Newcastle and starts giving me a bit of cheap nap and tries to get a bit, you know, I'm not like him in the room where it was a bit grappling, you know, like the headbutt will be going in, the hands will be thrown, so that's what they, but apart from that, I'll I, I take up a pinch of salt and if he's here, he's here, if he's not, he's not, it doesn't need bother me. Well, I'll say thank you now because I've already got the title for the YouTube video. Crack shit, Newcastle Green, one of them. No, I'm, you know what? Like, we're, we're all in a position where I've said it a few times on interviews where, like, you've got me, McKenna, Davies. I want to put Capital in that, but then after his performance, he's probably a little bit ahead of him now as well. Got like the freeway where we're probably all like hovering on the same level where we've tried to do that still at the world level and it hasn't really worked out. And we're like hovering around there, do you know what I mean? So, may take what to fight each other to, to, to get at that level and then we'll get a big fight. But who, who knows? It's a good little, like, um, there's a few fighters in there that couldn't be 140 and be some for good domestic fights. Yeah, well, can, can I ask you about, again, we were talking about it in, in the gym there, Lewis. Two years ago, it was the Jordi Golovkin, it was Matchroom, it was Sky Sports yeah. and the Machine. You were everywhere on your run. And with respect with Probellum, it's a little bit lower, lower profile. Yeah. You've got the TV deal with Eurosport, so your fight's yeah. going to be live on Eurosport. Did you find that adjustment 
easy? Is it easy? Is it better for you that you, it's not as high yeah, profile? It's not, you know yourself, you know your personality, like, you know I hate the cameras, I yeah. hate the interviews, I hate all like, the thingy. And just, I never made up the Jerome Lee Croft again. No, you didn't. Thinking, and I never, and every time somebody mentioned that, they'd always try and shy away from that, so. Because I still get sticking with the Jerome Lee Croft again, even if it wasn't even me, that. But, uh, Do you know what, Lewis, just on that, we were at the press room at Nottingham, and he called, Eddie Hearn called Kevin Yark or the Irish Canelo. Yes. And that's what immediately came to my head. You getting the Jordy Golovkin might not have done you any favours no, on a personal level. No, it didn't level. really, because like, people never, you know, when stuff's put on social media and this that, people can always go back to record or interviews, people can always go back to it and they'll, they'll give you a bit of stick from it. But I always try to shy away from it, you know, like, for I'm the Golovkin, he's a pound for pound star, isn't he, do you know what I mean? Like, like even with him half of what he's done, I'd be happy, but no, you get labelled with stuff and it, it keeps for you, doesn't it? So it had nothing to do with me with that, but like, I, do you know, like, I hate the interviews, they do this, they do that, the podcast, I hate, I hate what you know, I do, Steve, yeah, you know, you like, do, I mean. even with you, I, I get on very well with you on personal level, but it's even hard for you to get a message, reply off his back to come do interviews and that, isn't it? So even though we're probably more the, the making the right moves, it's a lot more laid back, it's just nice and calm, it's casual, like, where I, I quite like that's my style, do you know what I mean? It's like, well, match room, and to be, I had a great, great room match room, loved every minute of it. Uh, I, got on, I got on well with Eddie, I thought Eddie was a good guy, to be fair. Uh, but like, you know, fight weeks where you just want to take it chill and calm, they were busy, do this, do that, do that, and it's, it's not my style, sometimes it affects you not in the, in the, in the wrong way, so, this is good, a lot more laid back and I'm happy. And a lot more North East fighters on the card to share that burden next time. Oh yeah, well like I say we're all, uh, we're all on there, you know, like the ball going to get the chance. I think really the only people that are in two fights on the cards is, is me, me and Troy really. So like, he's got Mason caught right, it was going to be a decent test for him. I've got a very hard test. And like I said before, obviously when, they, like, when they're just starting off, you know, like the McCormack and Mark Pickerson, of course they've got to build themselves up, I'm not on about them. I think like, you know, it's time for some of the rest of them to start stepping up and uh, up the game themselves, you know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 it used to be a bit pressure on us, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Where it, it, it's hard, you know, but I know like, no, some of these fighters, but most of them will take fights, you know what I mean? They're probably thinking, damn, I'm having to go to them, I'm not, because I know they'll take fights. I think it's just sometimes, it's getting you a fight week, isn't it? It's getting you a fight night, you're losing the weight and that, you get a bit ratty, don't you think? How come I've got a big hard fight again, the rest haven't, so... Not we, really go in, but, it just... but we were saying again and there weren't we Lewis that the Lewis Ritson that I know all up until fight week you know nice, nicest lad you'd wish to meet when I see you next week you'll be a totally different Lewis Ritson you're, no, not, you're yeah. not even give me the no. time of day because you, you just... look you get a hello really yeah. Yeah. that's not me being a, being a dick I know but you've just got a, it's a different mind frame isn't yeah. it you're fighting you've got even more weight to lose your weight cut your water cut it's a hard time, do you know what I mean? And like you said before there, what's the difference? It's like, you don't want to be doing interviews or podcasts or, and stuff like that uh, during fight week or even open workouts, you open workouts in the gym, you're on Tuesday and I'm saying, oh, I did I forget the open workouts? Yeah, I kind of lost it, open workout. <laughs> you know, like for five minutes on the pads and that, but it's part and parcel, it comes with it, doesn't it? But it's it's also my cup of tea, but it comes with it, so. I tell you what, Lewis, I'll come next Tuesday, no camera. And you can just be one of the lads coming. I'll just be one of the lads. You can come and talk to me and ignore the others I, if you want. I, I might be a little bit off the cameras and then be fair. No, I'll be alright Tuesday, but it's like the Wednesday, Thursday, that'll be a bit, uh, a bit ratty. But no, it's, it's big and exciting time for the North East. And, um, I'm just glad I'm at the forefront of it at the minute because you know it's going to be a time when I'm not at the forefront and I'm probably going to be thinking, oh, I remember the days when I was and it was uh, great and this and that. And, did you ever worry that that wouldn't be the case after the Pond City feat, for example? Did no, you think, oh, but shit. Do, do you know what it is? It's like, it's, I was getting a bit stuck after the Pons fight, but you fight the kids, 28-128, yeah. knock 90 newt, rang on my phone in the world by the IVF. Uh, you know, when you got getting beat off them, and you know, like I didn't, I got up, it was a half decent performance, but I knocked the weight up a little bit. But hey, Pons come out, done his job, cleaned his hood. But you had like loads of people, you've got and shit, written that, I'm thinking, hold on a minute, I seen the kid I'm fighting here, it's not like I'm fighting like a, a nobody. Yeah. You know, even after the Patera, we were about Patera before. That was for you being tight. He's won his last 11 fights since Aye. me. You know, like, the two defeats on my record are against top class kids, really. Yeah. Now, they're not like at a low standard or a low level. And I think like, that's a problem when people jump on the bar and it's like, we'll see it, you. By the time I fight, usually 11 o'clock at night, people are 
Piago goes on, they've got eight or nine pints deep in the house during the eight or nine cans deep. They're not really watching what's actually going on, they're just probably listening to the commentators and they're probably looking at what's going on here, yeah, do you know what I mean? So, and worse still, mate, in that state, they then jump on social media. Uh, do you know what I mean? Like, the social media, uh, like, I, I'm, I don't let anything get to me, you know, I've had I've watched sisters, I've been sorting out tr sisters' troubles for years, <laughs> this and that, and tit -tit for tap, but even I took myself off Twitter after the Vasquez fight because it was just getting a bit too much, you know what I mean? I thought right. myself, I'm in, killing someone, yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, so, social media is a dark place, man, then you, you see anything back to someone, how dare you, how, I think, I see what you just put to me, right. do you know what I mean? So, I say it's part and parcel of it, but and there's no way you can be able to. Can we talk a couple of things away from yourself, yes, Lewis? Yes, um, Last week when we were talking, you predicted it, you said it's going to be a hell of a fight in Nottingham. You weren't wrong, mate. No, I what didn't. a fight. What a fight it was. And, uh, I was talking about the commentary before there, about how commentary was for the fight. I had Colin <coughs> healthy lead me. And, uh, but the more I was watching, it was more like the commentary was trying to say that Woods was doing better than what Colin. But uh, what a finish, man. Like, do you know what it is? What Lee Wood showed in that last round, you can't teach it, you know. Like, it's just, it's either in there or it's not. Yeah. He's got it, hasn't he? You know, like, <clears throat> he took a bit of a pound in, in some rounds, and how he was coming back and, and hitting Conlon with some big shots. And it, it was a bit of a, I felt very sorry for Conlon, you know, like, I had, if he won the round, I would have had him win it. Well, if he got through the round, he would have won the fight. And the way it ended and stuff, but what a right hand from Lee Wood and uh, fair play to him, because he showed a lot of things that a lot of boxers haven't got. Two fellas that you've been linked with in the past, Taylor Carroll. Yes. Um, just your thoughts on the controversy, and then I don't know if you know that it's been referred to the police. I had seen that, but um, where it's <coughs> obviously the person that uh, is it the Parliament member of Chorley or some extent. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was uh, that was another one. I mean, I had seen you mention the Vasquez uh, robbery a few times in interviews because I do watch them. Sorry, but, mate. But, uh, I know. Uh, I'll put that one in. I mean. Um, no, do you know what it is? I think it was because we all we were all expecting Taylor to sort of go like walk through really, you know, like I looked at Jack Jack Catwell's box shirt and I had it before the fight, they had him as inactive. That's how long he hasn't fought yeah. him, do you know what I mean? But he sorted the Enigma code out, didn't he? Yeah. Like no one's been able to do that at Taylor and sort of I know if there was a thing with Frotchy and the last four rounds he coasted it, but I think Jack Kaplan could have sat in his stool for the last four rounds and still would have won it, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. I, I personally, <laughs> Lewis, have never known so much anger ringside from trainers, from the media, from the TV presenter. Yeah. It almost seems to have lit the blue touch paper in regard to... Well, like, did you see uh, Nigel Travis is on yeah. IFL that he was down yeah. when Do you know what it is when you've had a kid from the off and you and you worked every day with him and stuff and stuff, and for some, especially for like... I know my, I, my boss has got rubbed against me, but wasn't for four world titles. Yeah. Do you know, like, yeah. when that's on the line, like, Jack Cattle should be having strawberry and champagne in bed now because he should be a unified world champion, you know what I mean? He should have all the belts in his bed and he's giving it the big end, you know what I mean? But he hasn't, has he? And I wouldn't, it could, it could make or break you that. Yeah. Do you know, like, I think Jack Cattle's got a lot more about him than to sit there and weep about it, you know, like, he'll, he'll um, I think it'll make me even better and probably stronger you know, to win a world title, but it's a bit of a disaster. And it was a bit of a disaster, and I think for like nothing. Whoa! Oop. <laughs> nothing happened there. <laughs> so I think for, uh, for uh, it's hard for Robert Smith as well because you know like he's in a position where where people are seeing should, but like he's worked with the judges for years, and you can't really chuck anyone under a bus, can he? Yeah. You know like. So I think it's like, everyone's in a hard position when it comes to something like that. And it's really hard to think what, what you should do, really. Uh, I think the main thing, Lewis, is it, it has got that discussion right at the yeah. top of the agenda again and hopefully something will get done. No, but like, even I think, like, you know, you look at the weekend with it, um, I think they're all, they're all going on about the Sandy Ryan score, even the Condon score. I think he was only around up on two judges scorecards. And I think there was another one, people, uh, the Mark Leach and fight on the Friday night. How the scorecards are so off for that as well. I mean, yeah. I think each one every round, really. Yeah. You know, like, so it's not just Ian John Lewis, is it? And I he got demoted, but it's not just him, is it? All I've ever had different judges for them fights, yeah. and, and the scorecards are way off. So 
by the time Robert Smith says I was watching his interviews with the Fight Disciples and other things and what is what can he do when you have ten judges, five judges? Hey, it's all money cost, isn't it? Mm. It's probably money that I haven't got to, to sort out, so it's a bit of like a tricky and hot position that we're all in. It is hopefully something gets sorted there. Uh, Savannah Marshall Clarissa Shields, you touched on it earlier. Yes. How do you see that one going? Because that's probably going to be. Fuck, you know what it is? I can't. Uh, and I'm not putting any like, on this pressure on Savannah. I think Savannah's great. I think I can't see nothing but a Savannah knocking her out. Like, especially after our last performance, Shields is over here. I don't think she could knock the skin off a rice pudding. You know what I mean? Like, and Savannah told her that to her face, didn't she? Well, Which was very unfair. Yeah. And uh, Savannah's just great. now when you see how composed she is, and she's just she's just quality, isn't she? Like. She is just quality, she's just, and, that, and she's got power on both hands, and I think they like, don't get us wrong, I think it'll be a lot trickier fight than what people think it's going to be, you know, like, after, especially after Shields' last performance, you had a few people jumped online, Savannah knocked her out easy, that, like, Clarissa Shields is a tough, tough woman, do you know what I mean, and she's double Olympic champion, world titles, I just think, you get certain fighters that have your number, don't you, I just think Savannah have had her number. Good man. Fury White, that's the 23rd of April, so not long for that one. Not long for that, the same lap, I can't really, especially after like uh, Fury's last few performances against Wilder, yeah. I can't really say nothing but a fail. Wild, uh, F uh, Fury knocking White out, to be fair, but then again, White's got a big left too, he's got a big, pow pow powerful blow, isn't he? So, and we're seeing that Fury's a bit vulnerable where he can't get put down himself, you know, Wilder hurt him a few times. So it's one of them where uh, I think Fury could could get him out there quick, but he could he could land more quite a while as he's trying to finish him off. So it's great when the boxing gets you buzzing. You even talk about you can talk about it uh, all day, but we nearly did. But then he did. I was going to be now a few hours now. So it's uh, no, I think it's an exciting time for uh, for boxing in general. Yeah, you, know, you see the people in the UFC. People are oh, boxing's dead. Boxing boxing's buzzing at the minute, man. It's. Uh, and especially in this country, you know, like we've got some great fighters and we'll get in there and fight each other and it'll be exciting times. It is. Last one, Lewis. Yes. You said earlier about me mentioning Vasquez, so it's your chance to get your own back. We'll end with football. You saw the Everton shirt when you so, walked in. Oh, you know, he's a <laughs> gun dude, I think. Uh, Just your I thoughts on your lot? All you... those, it's like the, uh, the takeover, it's, just, it's been unbelievable. The buzz, uh, it's, uh, even in the city, you know, man, and we're, we're on a good little run there. I mean, we're, Got a very hard done by by Chelsea. I think Isaac Hayden said it best. Twelve clean against twelve men, not eleven. So, but uh, no, you know, like, and it's funny we were on with us before. We were that close to Uri Emery coming in, yeah. and it wouldn't was he wouldn't have even been anyhow. Yeah. You know, so I think that deal like fell through at the last minute, didn't it? And then obviously Eddie Howe's come in. He's done a, he's done a mint job, and uh, hopefully we'll, we'll stick with him, back him, give him some money in the summer, and we'll get some. Uh, I was going to say we'll buy some cars from Everton, but I don't think there's anyone that will get in our team now, so we'll definitely be buying anyone from Everton. <laughs> no fancy Jordan Pickford? You know what it is? He, he come and support us for the, uh, for the Robbie Davis fight, so I can't say too much because Jaffa knows him double well as well, so I can't say uh, too much bad over him, but you might have made you sure uh, it's, he's, he's, um, he's not in the best of form at the minute, but you are Everton in general, and hey, I, think, I think he's on. Could go and do me like Steve me and I, and that's they were a yard like, but it was just looking like we were certain he's to go down, but now where it looks like you, sir. I'm worried, man. I would be well. There's not much fighting, is there? No. First in it, though. Can you play a centre half? Wrong. I, I used to play centre half, was in boys' club, captain's on band, <laughs> boom, so uh, I used to buy, but uh, first in it, it'll be the. I may text you, give me a bit stick, or you could text me, give me, uh, give me a bit stick, so you never know. I so think it'll be the other way around. I'm going to give you too much stick until, <laughs> until after Thursday, then we'll win. I'll give you a bit of a hammer and stick. You you've, <laughs> you've spotted the open goal I've left you yes, here. <laughs> Lewis, it's always a joy to catch up yes, with you, mate. Yes, always a pleasure, Steve. Thank I you. shall see you next week at the open workout. Yes. No, no camera. No camera. Um, and best of luck on the 25th, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. Appreciate Lewis it. Lewis Ritz, you're a star. Thank you.